Tonight, incredible new satellite images out of North Korea. Thousands gathering in Pyongyang for a military parade, marking the 75th anniversary of the North Korean army. More than a dozen ballistic missile launchers driving past throngs of supporters. It comes as Kim Jong-un puts this little girl, reportedly his nine-year-old daughter, front and center at a splashy and crucial military banquet. And some experts believe that he is doing it for a very specific reason. Will Ripley is out front. At this lavish banquet for the North Korean Army's 75th anniversary, Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un, with his wife and a girl around nine years old, a girl some say could be the chosen one, the one being groomed as the next North Korean leader. By showing some quality time with his daughter, it looked like he wanted to showcase his family as a good and stable one, he says, and to show himself as a leader for normal people. Her life is anything but normal. Her name is Kim ju -ae. At elementary school age, she already outranks a room full of senior military officers. North Korean state media describing her as Kim's respected daughter, getting a standing ovation. Call him my friend. He's my friend. We first learned her name from Dennis Rodman. The one-time buddy of the basketball-loving Kim claimed he even got to hold the pint-sized princess in 2013 when she was a baby. A few months ago, Kim's daughter made her big state media reveal for an ICBM test at Pyongyang's airport, inspecting her father's prized arsenal, an arsenal she could someday command. A source with deep knowledge of the North Korean leadership threw cold water on the notion this was a successor reveal, telling CNN it's too early to make any assumptions or speak about any possible successor. For sure, it's a clear signal Chairman Kim is sending to the world, a firm commitment to protecting his family and future generations with the nuclear program. If chosen, she'd be the first female and fourth generation of Kim family leadership, like her father, grandfather, and great-grandfather. The family formula, fear, control, and a carefully crafted PR campaign. Propaganda, praising the future leader's power and prowess. The successor can be a boy or girl, youngest or oldest, doesn't matter. The only mission, carry on the Kim family's fortune and power. For a while, Kim's younger sister, Kim Yo-jong, was viewed as Kim's possible eventual successor. She's known for her fiery speeches. She once famously directed the country's armed forces to blow up a joint liaison office near the border. Now, the eyes of the world are on Kim's daughter, experts analyzing every picture, every article, for clues about the possible next North Korean leader. All of it likely before her 10th birthday. Why do they start so young? Because they have to craft this narrative. Her whole life story is essentially planned for her, and she's not even 10 yet. They're going to have all of these heroic exploits, all these things that she's going to achieve, and it's going to be splashed all over the papers and television in a nation that, where the government controls the message. So by the time she were to rise to power, if indeed she is the successor, there's no question that she's qualified. And, and it's interesting, one analyst told me perhaps the biggest reason why she was chosen, her, her age, because Kim is also young, also she looks a lot like her dad. And that's important in this, in this nation where the image is so important in projecting credibility. It's really fascinating It's stuff. really fascinating. And a lot of people would be surprised that it would be the girl, a girl that is picked, right? I know it could be either, but you know that there's that. And then, and she does, spitting image of her father from those images you showed. All right, well, Ripley, thank you very much.